Okay, so I'm doing a beer review today. Um, I This is the Belgian Wit that I brewed a couple months ago now. I never got around to doing a review. So I got my new camera now, so I'm going to go ahead and do this while we're here. Um, tomorrow I'm brewing the Midas Tone, or the, sorry, the Dogfish Head Midas Touch Clone. Um, so look out for that video. That's going to be, I'm going to be brewing that tomorrow. Today's Sunday. So we'll be brewing that on Monday. Um, this one you can watch, you can go back. I made a video of me brewing this Belgian Wit. Um, like I said, it was a couple months ago. So go back, search on the videos, and you'll be able to find it. I kegged it originally and bottled, uh, I think, a six pack or so. <clears throat> um, so I've had the beer, I've tasted the beer, but it was from the keg and um, it was really young when we drank it so I'm, it was kind of, it wasn't mature, it wasn't aged. So this has been sitting for about two months now, hoping that this will be pretty good. So we will taste this and see how it goes. So I will let you watch every aspect of it. And it is carved, that's good news. I was kind of afraid of that because I had to individually carve each of these bottles. So we'll see what we got here. And I don't know how well you can see it. I don't know how much light there is in here. But there are a lot of bubbles rising. It's definitely carbonated. It's got a little bitty head on it, up there as you can see, but it's there. Uh, definitely carbonated. It's a little, uh, slightly cloudy. It's supposed to be cloudy, since it's a wit. Uh, it's actually clearer than I thought it would be. And this is the one that we used uh, non-traditional ingredients in. I used, um, what did I use? I used orange peel and coriander which is what you normally use in a Belgian wit but then I also added some lemon peel and some grains of paradise into the mix to try to give it a little you know a little kick make it not you know a normal Belgian wit so it smells it smells fruit uh, fruity it smells lemony it smells like the lemon peel might be the dominant one I don't really get the orange I do smell some lemon though, something sweet, something, it's definitely lemon, yeah. That's all I'm getting from the nose, just lemon. So, anyways, we'll give it a try. Very, very, very good. Um, carbonated very nicely. It's, it's very light in body, um, almost, that'd probably be the only a negative thing I'd have to say about it is, and I mean, you, that might not be negative to you, you might like light body beers, but it's almost, it's a thin, a thin kind of viscosity going down your throat, but it's still good. Flavor, uh, just like the nose suggested, it is lemony. Um, tart, citrusy, all those words describe this. Very light in body, like I said, light color. I don't know how well you can see that. I don't know if that helps at all. My room's kind of dark here, but it's, I don't know, it's like a golden, you know, cloudy golden, which is what it's supposed to be. The head's sticking around. The head's small, but it's sticking around, so that's good. Very drinkable. That's very good. This would be a a good summer beer, kind of like a you know out on mowing the grass or something like that. Come back in, get a fresh beer. This would be something that would be good. I think um, I think even my girlfriend Kelsey might like this. She doesn't like beer, but this is kind of like a more of a fruity, citrusy kind of thing. So it smells just like it tastes. There's nothing crazy, mysterious about this. It is what it is. The only thing that's that I personally um, don't like as much as how thin the body is um, or how light the body is. I like more medium body beers but you know throw some carapils or something in here next time or some maybe even some oats maybe. 
flaked out. But as far as the taste, the actual flavor, delicious, very good. Like I said, it's a summery kind of flavor. Almost reminds me of Sam Adams Summer Ale a little bit, the way it's spiced. I think Sam Adams Summer Ale uses Grains of Paradise, so that, I guess that would make sense. It, it, it kind of has that same kind of overall, I feel like I'm drinking Sam Summer Ale, basically. So, uh, it's good. So, I'd give this one a... I'm going to start rating these, by the way, out of 100. So, um, I'd give this one an 88, probably, out of 100. Um, it's it, Like I said, it's good, tastes good. It's something I would pick up more than once and drink more than once, which is why it's an 80 or above. But it's not, an, I'm not going to give it into the 90s just because it's not something I would want to drink every day, just because of the thin body. I need, I need to fix that. Um, and other than that, it's pretty much to style, besides the, you know, crazy additions that I added. If you don't like lemon, you won't like it. I'll say that. It's very lemony, very citrusy. So if you don't like lemon, I'd have to back off, off, uh, back off a little bit on the lemon peel because that definitely, I don't taste the orange peel at all. Uh, the lemon peel pretty much just negated it. So anyway, that's my Belgian wit. You can go back and watch my previous video. Um, I'll put a link in this, in this video to the old video so you can find it. And um, yeah, so the next time you see me, I will make a video of the Midas Touch clone, and then I'm also going to be brewing, if I can get the ingredients, I'm going to be brewing, um, a, I call it a clone, but it's a, it's a clone of my own beer. The very first beer I ever brewed um, was a, what I called a Shelly English Pale Ale. Shelly is named after my girlfriend, her last name is Shell. I just call her Shelly, so um, it's called the Shelly English Pale Ale, and it was the first beer I brewed, and it was an extract, so I'm trying to clone the extract um, beer in all grain. And I really enjoyed that beer. It's actually one of the best ones I've ever brewed in my personal taste. So um, her and my birthdays are coming up in February, so I'm trying to brew it for that. So um, the only problem is right now my local homebrew supply shop does not have uh, the right hops in stock. And I don't know when they're going to have them. And I need to brew it now because February 12th is when the birthday is. And that's coming up pretty quickly. It's it's fairly short beer to brew. It only takes three weeks, but you know I still want to get the stuff. So so you might see so my point after all that rambling is you might see a video also of me brewing the Shelly English Pale Ale clone. So look for that. Uh, I'm gonna start kegging all my beers and putting at least a six pack of every single one in bottles. Um, maybe even more so I can do beer trades with people. I know S J Poor. You said you wanted to do a beer trade. Um, I've got a ton of stuff now. It's not my best stuff, so I want to wait until I bottle some of this stuff I have in the closet right now, um, and then I'll throw in a few other things with the beer mail. So, anyways, if anyone else wants to do a beer trade, I'm always uh, looking to do that and hear your critique on my beers, and you know, I would like to do a critique on yours as well and see what everyone's brewing out there. So, anyways, this was the Belgian Wit. Check out the video and cheers, guys.